Happy Monday! Yes, 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 yes. Here we are, the beginning of the week. I'm already claiming it. It's going to be a great, great week, an awesome week. A lot of production going on. A lot of good stuff is about to jump off. <clears throat> Excuse me. A lot of good stuff is about to jump off. So I am claiming an awesome, epic week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. Well, anyway, today I want to talk about what to do with your very first lead. I was um, motivated to do this live because I got asked that question yesterday. And it's um, three simple things that I recommend that you do. And the first thing, number one, is to celebrate. Oh my God, for some of you, you might have gotten your first lead after, you know, a couple of months of um, doing your system, you know, working your system and you got your first lead. And um, it's amazing. It's nice to look in your your email and see that you got a first lead because when a lead comes into your funnel, it means that they raised their hand and said, hey, I would like what it is that you have. Now... That's not the only type of lead. You know, now that I think about it, I think a lot of you have gotten other leads but didn't realize that they were leads. So if someone friend requests you, that's a lead on social media. That They're saying like, wow, you know, I like your content. It's something about what it is that you do. I want to know more. And then it's up to you to reach out to them and engage them. So that's a lead too, okay? So don't get it twisted. If someone likes or comments on your content, that is a lead, all right? So it is your job to reach out to them, thank them, go on their page and see what they're posting about and find something that you can comment on and resonate with them, all right? But I get it, if you have a funnel set up and a lead comes through, that is very exciting. So just celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. You know why to celebrate? Because you can always do it again. And it leads to number two, do the freaking thing all over again. Because if you can do it once, you can do it twice, three times, etc. So whatever you did, to get that first lead, then just do more of it to get more. You know, that's why you want to celebrate in the beginning because it's so cool. You, you can do it once, you can do it again. Um, also, with with number two, it's kind of coupled with number two. You want to create content every day. You want something fresh and new for your audience each and every day. Now, if you don't know where to get content for your niche, let's say you're into skincare, or you're into health and wellness, or you're into credit repair, Google other blogs that are in that niche and see what they're talking about. And guess what? If people are liking and commenting on what they're talking about, don't you think you should talk about it too? Yeah, I'm not saying to copy their content, but you can definitely get the idea and put your own twist on it. So you read it, you see what it is that they're talking about it, and then you, you, you share it, but you put your own spin on it. And it can be just, you know, if you're posting on Facebook or you're posting on um, Twitter or any other social media, you can just take like a little a snippet of what they said and um, and share it, you know, just get a tip out of it, you know, you don't even have to write a whole blog, especially if you don't have one yet, you know, but make sure if you're on Facebook, have a fan page, so you can have somewhere for your fans to come to and, and see what you, what you got going on, right, and then after you do that, if you have something to offer that, of course you have something to offer, so then you, you um, put your link so that they, um, will have somewhere to go if, we, if they want to know more about what you're doing. But you got to educate. 
that's what's up. No more chasing and asking people to put your link on their page and all that other nonsense. That doesn't work. You know, people want more. People are more savvy on the net these days. And they're looking for something that's going to solve their problem. So figure out what your problem solves and give it to them. People give them what they want and they're going to raise their hand and say, hey, I want to know more. I'm ready to buy. All right. So that's kind of like three and four. And then the last one, I'm looking at my notes. Um, see how you can help the individual. You know, now that they are lead, they came into your funnel, they raised their hand and say, hey, 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 I'm here. And especially if they give you their phone number, they give you their phone number because they want you to call them. So don't pass up on a lead that gives you their phone number and you don't call them. And you want to call them within the, the in 24 to 48 hours of the time that they that you've seen the lead. You know, the sooner the better. Because I've had experiences where I've called leads, you know, later, not realizing that it came through, and they don't moved on to something else. They don't went to so many websites that it, they don't forgot they was on my website. But you know, it's a learning curve. We all go through it. So, but you want to call your leads as soon as possible. And what's cool is you don't have to wait till you get home. I used to wait till I got home to call my leads. You know, there's something called I learned this from Keisha Nash. Um, There's something called Google Voice. Set that up on your phone. And if the person leaves a phone number, call them. Call them right, right through Google Voice and just introduce yourself and say, hey, how you doing? I noticed you came through my, um, came to one of my websites looking for blankety blank. And I um, just wanted to see, did you get that okay? How's it going? And, you know, get, keep the conversation going and see if you can um, see what they need help with. And that's it. You know, it's really that simple. Now, if they don't leave a phone number, like most people don't, they leave an email, so you email them, right? You email them, and if they leave a phone number, you can text through um, Google Voice, too. So, email them. Directly email them. Hey, this is Daria. I just noticed that you um, were on one of my websites, and you can do that, like, almost right away. You know, like, if I was getting a lead now, right, if I heard it come through, when I got to work, I would respond to the lead. Hey, this is Daria. I just noticed you were on one of my websites, looking for some Twitter training. Um, just want to make sure that you got it okay. I'm here to help. You know, that kind of thing. You can reach out to me, call me at such and such and such and such. Right? Or re respond to this email. Right? I'm a real person, you know, because people, you know, there's so many scammers out there these days. So you let them know I'm a real person and um, I'm here to help. And that's it. If they respond, they respond. If they don't, move on. Don't dwell on it. Don't get addicted to the outcome because there's so many people that need help and that will respond. So don't focus on those that don't. You know, you're going to have, you know, leads in there that may not respond to you right away. You don't know what's going on with them, but you just keep feeding them information day after day because now they are on your newsletter. So there's the newsletter. You build a relationship with them through your newsletter because you're educating them every day. If you're not emailing your list every day, every other day, or however often you do that, I recommend that you do it as often as possible. Thank you so much for for the love, the like. I appreciate it. So you want to email them as often as possible. I know life gets in the way, especially if you're working full-time like me. You know, I'm on my way to work now. But um, the autoresponders will allow you to schedule your emails for the week so you can get that done. You know, so there's ways that you can get... You, Get your business, have your business running while you're at work. And if you have any issues with that, you can leave a comment below. We can chat. I can show you some stuff that, that my husband and I are doing because he's driving Uber after work and I come home and I work the business. But before he, he uh, drives his Uber or goes to work, there's some behind the, 
you know, seeing stuff that needs to be done. So we get that done, you know, we allocate time, we get it done, and that's it. You know, so then you can go and drive Uber, you can go and do air, you know, whatever it is that you, you know, need to do to um, get extra income into your household. So I hope that you got value from what I shared with you. You know, getting your first lead is awesome. You know, I remember when I got my first lead, almost like yesterday, it was like five years ago, and I was excited. I didn't even think it was real. So celebrate getting that first lead and then just do some more of that and engage your lead. Find out what they need. So this is Daria Jackson Leganier signing off from willieanddaria.com. If you want to know more about how you can build a successful business online, head over to our blog, willieanddaria.com. I'll put the link above this video once it loads. Also, you can subscribe to our newsletter while you are there, and you can pick up our KISS formula for generating leads online. All right, Daria Jackson signing off. Peace out. Later.